Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. We are reviewing scent number six on this show from the house that is bot number nine, and this one might be my favorite. Let's get into it. If you want some backstory on the house, please check out the video that I did on New Harlem. It was one of, I think it was my first uh, a fragrance review actually. I love bot number nine. There are literally 10 more or 10 or more from this house that I need to get. Um, you know, if I wind up buying my next one in the warmer weather, I'll probably look towards um, Coney Island or Fire Island. And if I look to one um, in the colder weather, I might look for, um, which was the one, success is a job. Um, if I purchase one in the, in the cooler weather. This one is part of their I Love New York collection, which is available at a lower price than their normal scent. And this line is also available at Sephora. This one, I Love New York, came out in 2011. IFF uh, did this one for Bond. It was actually one of the first three scents in the I Love New York collection, along with I Love New York for him and I Love New York for her. Notes on this one are bergamot, lily of the valley, and black pepper at the top, cacao meringue glass, which means candy chestnuts, and coffee in the middle, and in the base, sandalwood, patchouli, woody notes, vanilla, and leather. Retail on this one, if you go to Sephora where you get it from Bond, is going to be 50 ml for $105, or you could pay um, 100 ml for $175, but you need to shop around with this one because uh, these, these can be had for... Um, for much cheaper, and in fact, I got my 50 ml bottle from Fragrance Net for $60, and this one obviously isn't a tester. That's a crazy deal. As far as your presentation goes, the box, mine got really dinged up um, when I moved, but you could see it says, I love New York, bond number nine, um, really dinged up box. Uh, on the back, I, I love New York for all. Uh, it, the bottle is um, a sort of glossy, or I'm sorry, a matte black. Um, it's made out of, it feels like a plastic, um, and it says I Love New York on the front or back. It has a sticker on the bottom that says Eau de Parfum. The cap is uh, plastic, and the sprayer, never great on these bonds, but uh, works fine. It'll definitely get the job done for you. Um, as far as the scent goes, guys, this one is incredible. Uh, I've heard it compared to Cocoa Puffs, to buttered popcorn, to coffee, to the roasted nuts that the street vendors in New York City sell. And I sort of agree with, with all of those. It's just a gourmand lover's dream scent. It smells very natural. Uh, it's layered. It has depth. It performs well. And it is, as we just said, uh, Eau de Parfum strength. So just awesome. I really don't get any of the opening notes that are listed in the breakdown. I don't get the bergamot, definitely don't get the lily of the valley, maybe a little bit of that that black pepper, but for me, this one opens up with cocoa, coffee, roasting nuts. That's really uh, what it is. There's also that vanilla, or uh, maybe slash tonka base to this one, but it opens up with coffee and cocoa. And guys, it's simplifying it, but that's really what this scent is. If I were you, that's what I would think about when I when I think of this fragrance. Um, and it might seem like that description of just um, coffee and cocoa might make this sound like a mall scent or a cheapy. But the notes in this one are just, I have did a great job of making the notes in this one uh, smell really natural and it does smell so natural so much so that it does wind up smelling very elegant and expensive you, you be prepared for not a ton of progression on the skin the only thing that really changes along the journey with this one is that as it opens up it becomes a little bit more about the vanilla and tonka and um, and that really almost buttery cocoa and coffee never really go anywhere I get tremendous performance out of this one eight to ten hours and it projects like a beast it's awesome on the skin it just really lasts it's a unisex fragrance it's going to do best for you i think in the late fall and in the cold winter and it's just a very comforting scent i think it's great to wear out on dates i think it's great to wear out at night or just it's a scent you could definitely wear on thanksgiving or christmas or 
holidays, um, New Year's around that time of year. It's it's, it's special and it fits really well uh, in those situ situations. If you're unable to get this one or looking for something a little bit different but like it, yeah, if you really can't afford this one, I would definitely take a look at Choco Musk by Al Rehab, which you can get for like five or six bucks. Sunline doesn't have the depth of this one, but it's sort of up that alley. Of course, New Harlem by Bond Number no. 9 sort of switches out the cocoa uh, for like a maple syrup and coffee vibe. Uh, a great chocolate scent, and it's sort of like a milk chocolate scent, is Musk Maori uh, by Parfumerie Generale. And then on the indie side, you should check out Cafe Cacao uh, by En Voyage. Definitely sort of has the same vibe as this one. If someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this one, I think they tell you that it's a great gourmand. The price really can't be beat for a niche fragrance like this. Uh, it's got that bond quality, even though this sort of is their less expensive line, and it's quite versatile for the colder weather out there. I think if someone were trying to talk you out of this one, they'd probably say that, look, you're spending that money for a scent that cannot be worn around. Uh, if you don't have a sweet tooth, this one is not going to be the scent for you, and there's not a lot of ton of depth to this. Um, it's just not a deep scent. The, the notes that it does are great, and they last a long time, but if you're looking for something interesting or something that you're going to pick up different facets of every time you wear it, you're looking at the wrong bond set. This is what it says it is, and, and what it says it is, it is. And, and that's sort of what you need to know going into I Love New York for All. I happen to love it. Uh, for me, it's a very clear 8 out of 10 on the rating scale. The only thing that takes a bit of a hit is the fact that it really only works for four months out of the year, and the depth just isn't there. I think this could have been accentuated with some resins or a more stout sandalwood in the base. I think it would have then given the composition some 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 backbone and made it a bit more intriguing but it's very good as is and if you're okay with just that gourmand wallop of coffee and cocoa puffs then you really need to take a look a serious look at this set so that has been my review of i love new york for all guys hope you've enjoyed this one we'll definitely be doing more bond sense in the future if you have any questions please feel free to reach out up. We know when it's only us. Embarrassment is a therapist. Hoping we'd open up. It told us.